Mark Changizi here with your Science Moment. Today, I, just a very simple point. It concerns lockdown deaths and comparing them to COVID deaths. Now, what do I mean by lockdown deaths? There have been deaths by virtue of lockdowns and the other interventions. When you change the structure of society and you change how the economy works and how healthcare works, there are deaths typically associated with that. We have evidence that at least one third of the excess deaths in 2020, back in March and April, when there was the spike, wasn't COVID related at all. These were changes in medical practice, the use of intubation and sedatives where they were unnecessary. And now they've, in many places, gone back to standard practice. We're gonna see medium, we've seen medium term excess deaths that are not related to COVID by virtue of the changes in medical practice. And we're gonna see long-term ones by virtue of the economic recession, especially in the developing world. Now. When folks point out, look, there are these lockdown deaths, there seems to be this natural reaction to say, okay, well, maybe there's lockdown deaths, but look at all the COVID deaths, which is not the right comparison at all. You just have to remember, the issue is the lockdown, the costs of lockdowns, and I'm focusing just on the deaths from lockdowns right now, not comparing it to the COVID deaths, but comparing it to the number of people saved from COVID by virtue of those interventions. Again, it's the number of lockdown deaths relative to the number of people saved by, vir those, by virtue of those interventions. So, how many people have been saved by those interventions? Well, in fact, the data appears to be in, and over and over again, the data are that there's no correlation across all of the different regions in terms of how stringent the government was in terms of the interventions and the pandemic severity. Luckily, there's not just Sweden, you have tremendous variability in terms of how stringent different governments and different regions were. And by virtue of that, you can do lots of great correlations and ask, well, is there, is there a correlation between stringency of intervention and pandemic severity? And there has not been. So what that means is that whether or not the number of COVID deaths is gigantic relative to the number of lockdown deaths or small or any, it doesn't matter. What matters is did the interventions, which killed this many people, actually reduce that number? That's what matters. And over and over and over again, when you talk to folks, they don't seem to get this. They just say, well, this number is big, and the bigness somehow justifies these lockdown deaths. Right? Now, that would be wrong even on its face, even if it, you know, you're still making one mistake that I just mentioned. The other is that, no, you, you don't trade off deaths of real humans. This is not just a cost-benefit calculation in terms of money. These are humans that you're trading off in their lives and livelihoods. But the point that I'm focusing on now is there just seems to be some blip in the human mind, even on both sides, that make them want to compare the lockdown deaths with the number of COVID deaths when that's not it at all. It's the number of lockdown deaths compared to the number of people saved by virtue of those interventions, which appears to be zero.